Hello there and Merry Christmas again. Hope you are doing well. In the world of water purifiers, there is no doubt that brand new vintage water cooler is way better than small and normal purifiers. But can this little beast outperform in some way in industrial version? Let's find out. I'm here hanging out with Prevor Yogi and we have a lake. Wonderful. If I somehow access the build menu, I can see what you want to see in your build menu, right? The most requested item is for now. And here is my old good friend, industrial purifier. Bigger, must be placed in water and needs power, but produces 2.5 times faster than water cooler and have 2.5 times more capacity, so it says free. Let me put 4 industrial ones and I will have 240 cans per hour and 20 cans capacity. It occupies a lot of place to be honest and that is where it definitely loses 1.2 water cooler. I need to power everything up and later we will check the difference in budget consumption. Another point loss is due to how many materials you need to spend to place everything down. Okie dokie. I believe we are set up, right? What I will do now is to go loot Sandatrons, and I'm doing this all night long in a company of me helps. Yeah. They're so loud, aren't they? Okay, shut up! Sometimes I visit Scorchies, but it is even harder to listen to them. So better not even try. Okay, it's been 12 minutes and I'm supposed to collect 20 water and let's see if I can do this. Um, and no. Well, let's wait a little bit, shall we? Of course, probably you know that purifiers don't work as we are expecting them to work. And it is a problem never been fixed since I played this game. Let's open gifts and check again. Okay, three, five, five, five. So after 13 minutes, I can get 18 cans, not 20. Let's wait a little bit more. Aha, uh -huh, still free. Damn. Okay, let's have these 18 cans and try water coolers. But for the record, I got 18 cans in 13 or 14 minutes using industrial purifiers. As for water cooler, I will place 10 of them and it should give me 240 cans per hour and 20 cans in total. The big advantage for these little bastards is no need to place them into the ground or water. They're small and nicely done, but speaking of budget, um, they eat a lot of it. Now let's check out the performance. Can they give us 20 cans of tasty purified water? Okay, 12 minutes later. Uh, uh, wait, only two here and. Uh, eh, nope. The same problem. 15 minutes later, how many I can collect? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 7, uh, 8. So, 8? Okay, I think I should go bigger. And I placed 38 of them. The build budget was almost murdered. Okay, this time I will go again to collect gifts from Santa Drones. Ah, uh, speaking of which, probably. You saw the last post in the community about my total success in farming scripts. And probably you've watched the last video, how I have become that successful. Be successful yourself by subbing my channel. Thank you. Let's make it 12 minutes. Okay, and 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, uh, 3. Come on. Five. Six. Six. And that's all. 
let's play like 7 industrial purifiers and repeat the experiment. But anyways, as you see, there is no way that water coolers will outperform industrial purifiers. Low capacity and crazy building budget price. Makes them good for anything but camps where purified water is wanted in big amounts. Here by the way I have gotten 12 cans of purified water, less than with 4 industrial monsters, but I will come back in 30 minutes and they will be full, like all of them. Probably you can do the same with water purifiers in 30 minutes, but your budget will be screwed big time and you will not be able to place something else you want. That's it for today, thank you for watching and I will see you later. Yeah. <sighs>